Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom we did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joy of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Mysteries of Light the first mystery, the baptism of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Self-Manifestation of Our Lord at the Wedding Feast at Cana Our Father, who art in heaven, 
Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Transfiguration of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Institution of the Holy Eucharist Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us a blessed fruit of her womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown, shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, mere church continued to serve our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. As we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday of the seventh week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Come, then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock, His shepherds. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised the whole, to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on His people. Alleluia. City of God, you are the source of our life. With music and dance, we shall rejoice in you. Alleluia. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Felicia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, These are her children, and while their dance they will sing, in you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Like a shepherd, he will gather the lambs in his arms, and carry them close to his heart. Alleluia. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hands the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth Weigh the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed Him as His Counselor? Whom did He consult to gain knowledge, who taught Him the path of judgment, or showed Him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of a bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than the powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted above all the peoples. Alleluia. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. 
He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise His name so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will. They kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives. Yet you punish all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that He may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he both called down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful to go undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. 
Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please stand. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them, even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that there, there where I am, they also may be with me, that they may, be, may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. Mothers, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pagsisimula po magkaroon ng pagkakaisa sa ating mundo kung ating sasabihin sa ating mga sarili na meron tayong pananagutan sa ating kapwa-tao. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isok Kristo, sa mga huling sandali ng ating Panginoong Isok Kristo, sa piling ng Kanyang mga alagad, ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay nanalangin. At ang ipinanalangin ng ating Panginoong Isok Kristo ay una ng Kanyang mga alagad ay magtagumpay sa mundo. Hindi nais ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na mga sumusunod sa Kanya ay takasan ang mundo. Maraming pagkakataon na dahil sa bigat ng problema, kung maaari lamang ay tumakas tayo sa mundo. Subalit, bagamat hindi tayo tagamundo, ang sabi ng Panginoon, tayo Kanyang isinusugo sa mundo. Naharapin natin lahat ng ating mga problema sa buhay. Kung meron tayong mga pasanin, pasanin natin. Kung merong pasakit, ating bigyan ng solusyon. Nais ng ating Panginoong Sokristo na imbis na tumakas sa mundo, ay pagtagumpayan natin ang mundong ito. Ang tawag dito ni Pope Francis sa kanyang liham na Evangelii Gaudium ay engagement with the world. Nais niya na tayo maging mga misyonero sa mundo. Isinusugo, aktibo, hindi lamang nanduroon sa tinatawag niya na, niya na conservation mode, but instead dapat missionary mode. Yung conservation mode, yung iniisip mo na lamang na kung paano pananatilihin ang institusyon, pare ang simbahan, pare ang paaralan, maring hospital o papanatilihin mo na lamang yung yung kinagisnan status quo 
Sabi ni Pope Francis, hindi ganyan. Dapat ikaw ay marumihan. Dapat harapin mo ang mundo. Dapat maging kaamoy mo ang tupa. Engagement with the world. At merong apat na bahagi ng mundo o realidad ng mundo na kung saan inaanyayahan niya tayong makisangkot. Ang una ay tinatawag na political pillar. Tignan natin ang buhay pampolitika ng mundo na ating hangarin ng iniisip ng lahat ng taong nasa politika ay para sa common good. Hindi lamang sa kabutihan ng iilan, hindi lamang sa kabutihan ng kapartido, hindi lamang sa kabutihan ng mga fans at followers niya. Kung hindi, kung titingin tayo sa realidad ng ating lipunan at ng mundo, iniisip ba lagi ang common good, ang kapakanan ng lahat? Pangalawang pilar, itinatawag niyang economic pilar, na maaring may mga pribadong individual na napakayaman, na nagsusumikap na magkamal ng lahat ng kayamanan ng mundo. Sinasabi ni Pope Francis, lagi nating isipin yung tinatawag na universal destination of the earth's goods na lahat ng biyaya, lahat ng nilikha ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Isipin nating lahat, hindi para sa ilan yan, yan ay para sa lahat. Lahat ng iyong biyaya ay isang responsibilidad na dapat ibahagi sa iba. Pangatlong realidad ay sinasabi niyang cultural pillar na ang kultura ng mundo, bagamat iba't iba, ay hindi naman dapat maging dahilan ng ating pag-aaway. Makikita natin yan sa mga aktibidades ng ating Santo Papa. Dumadalaw siya sa mga Muslim. Two years ago, dumalaw siya sa Abu Dhabi. Nakapag, nakipagpirmahan siya sa Grand Imam ng Abu Dhabi ng isang kasunduan na bagamat iba't ibang ating kultura, pero posible na magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na universal fraternity. Ito ang diwa ng kanyang encyclical na Fratelli Tutti. Na isipin natin, na pwede tayong gumawa ng alternatibong mundo na kung saan mayroong kapayapaan, kung saan mayroong pagkakaisa, katulad ng panalangin ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, na katulad ng pagkakaisa ng Ama at ng ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo, posible ang lahat ng nilalang, ang lahat ng tao ay magkaisa. Hindi dapat maging hadlang ang kultura. Pang-apat, tinatawag niyang religious pillar ng relihiyon huwag gagamitin sa karahasan. Nang relihiyon hindi dapat maging dahilan ng pag-aaway na mukhang nakikita natin ngayon sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Merong pag-aaway sapagkat kahit mismo mga kristyano ginagamit ang pagkakaiba ng paniniwala upang sa ganoon ay maging ugat no? ng pagkamuhi sa kapwa-tao. Sabi ng Santo Papa, ang relihiyon ay dapat gamitin sa pagtataguyod ng katarungan at pagunlad ng bawat isa. Nakikita natin na ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay nananalangin sa pagkakaisa. Ang hadlang sa pagkakaisa ay division. Ang hadlang sa pagkakaisa ay exclusiveness. Kapag sinasabi natin na kami-kami lang, tayo-tayo lang, at yung iba'y etsipwera. Ang hadlang sa pagkakaisa ay competition imbis na cooperation. Ang sabi ng Santo Papa, dapat balikan natin yung halimbawa ng The Good Samaritan. Na kung saan, kung may makita tayong tao na nakahandusay sa daan, hindi tayo dapat yung Kristiyano na lalagpas lamang. Tayo dapat yung Kristiyano na yumuyuko nag-aabot ng kamay, naglilingkod, handang maghugas ng sugat. Kapag ka sabi natin sa ating mga sarili, na I am responsible for everybody. Ako'y merong pakialam 
ako'y nagmamalasakit sa bawat isa, dito po'y magsisimula ang pagkakaisa, hindi lamang ng ating lipunan, kung hindi ng bawat mundo. Kumilis po sana tayo patungo sa katuparan ng panalangin ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na kanyang marugdob na ninanais na tayong lahat ay mamuhay ng may pagkakaisa upang sa ganun makumpleto ang ating kaligayahan. Please all stand. Jesus prayed to the Father for unity. Waiting for the Pentecost, let us come to the Father and pray for the true unity among all His children. Let our response be, Father of all, unite us. Father of all, unite us. That all members of the Church may be one in heart and mind, in union with our Pope and our bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That the world may believe in Christ by the united example of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into the visible unity of the one church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That each family may be made one in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. For our parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those for whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That the dead may be called to perfect union with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. Holy Father, through these prayers, may all people be led to that unity which you share with the one you have loved before the foundation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Gracely sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and lord of hosts he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state but that we his members might be confident of following where he our head and founder has gone before therefore overcome with fascal joy every land every people exult in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the un unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts of prey by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis is assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry the co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as our apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Go into the world and teach all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go into the world, and teach all nations, Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us to our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers may the vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers may the vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pagkikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, O Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.